girl and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how I stopped binge eating and how I've been binge free for like two years. So let's get into it. So first of all I want to say sorry because I've been gone for a little while but I am back and I'm excited and I had a little bit of an epiphany the other day because I realized that I genuinely haven't binged in like two years or at least I can't even remember the last time I binged which means it's been a very long time. If you guys didn't know growing up I had what I think is a binge eating disorder. The reason why I'm saying I think is because I never went to a doctor to have it confirmed or anything but you don't always have to because if you read up the symptoms and you can just tell from about the age of eight I had a binge problem and I guess first of all I'm gonna define what binging meant for me and a lot of people tend to think binging is just when you eat a bit of junk food and you fall off the wagon but really what binging is is literally when you can't stop yourself from eating and it's fueled by emotion and not hunger and you just keep shoving food in your mouth until you you can't you, like, like you feel pain you feel pain like in your stomach like it's painful you feel like you're gonna throw up and that's why a lot of the time binging can lead to purging which it did for me but that didn't come until much much later so when I was eight I had really strange habits where I would kind of hoard food in my room and then when I kind of felt upset I would just binge on it and eat as much as possible and I laugh about it now because I've told my sister about it and like opened up about what I went through and we laugh about it now like me just like stashing food um, but that's just the way we cope with bad things we just tend to laugh it off because I guess laughter is just the best medicine I guess sometimes but yeah that's what I did for many years and then obviously I became obese um, at the age of 14 is when I decided to start losing weight but all of that time I'd been binge eating I just didn't know what I was doing because I was very young and then as I started losing weight um, the binge eating kept on but I kept losing weight just because I was binging maybe once once a week maybe twice once a week or once every two weeks it wasn't like super frequent but I was still binging as a way to deal with my emotions and different things that were upsetting me and so that's something that I did for a very long time throughout my weight loss journey and it also triggered some purging because obviously I was trying to lose weight and then I'd be eating so much and it upset me and then I would purge the food because yeah, basically I, I tried to turn things around because I wasn't happy with this way of dealing with my emotions. I realized that the cycle was just vicious and it wasn't what I wanted because my goal from the beginning of trying to lose weight was always to be happy. I think that's one of the first goals I kind of wrote down because I just wanted to focus on that because at the end of the day I was unhappy and all I wanted to be was to be happy so that is something I tried to focus on as much as possible and so I was lucky in the way that I had that mindset so then when I realized that I was doing things that were making me unhappy I tried to do something that would make me happier basically and so it got to the point where I had finished my weight loss journey and it, it was it was still a problem it wasn't as persistent because I was actively trying to be a healthier person I was really trying to stop that habit and deal with emotions in different ways so I'm gonna go into that and how now it's just kind of faded away um, um, so let's talk about that. So I think the first thing that has helped me so much is the fact that I started talking to people about my emotions. I think one of the main reasons I used to binge growing up is because there were so many things going on around me. I didn't know how to cope and so the first way I'd cope with it is by turning to food. And so now I really do make that effort to talk to people and by people I mean my sister. <laughs> I always talk about my sister in my videos but she really is my rock and if it wasn't for her I just don't know where I'd be because it's just nice to have that person to confide in and also recently Recently I started confiding in my mother a little bit more as well because I guess sometimes your parents you kind of feel like you can't tell them certain things and they won't understand but you have to realize they've lived a very long time they know a lot more about certain things and they might not even judge you they might just want to support you and give really good advice and that's what's been kind of the case with my mum I'm very lucky to have a very understanding and loving mother so certain things I talk to her about that I'm like oh no I might get in trouble or she might not understand she's been so supportive my next tip has got to be to to keep trying I think one thing that happens in the cycle of binging is that you kind of almost find comfort in it I know for me for a very long time binging was a thing that I felt comfort because at the end of the day I was getting to eat all the food that I wanted 
and even for a second whilst I had the food in my mouth and I'm tasting it I felt comfort and I kind of wanted to hold on to that and hold on to the negativity there was there's something about negativity that you find comfort in because you're already at rock bottom so you don't feel like you could fall any further so you find comfort in that so it was very scary to let go of that cycle because it meant that I don't know that I I would be I'd become a happier more positive person and the scary thing about positivity and happiness is that it's not always going to be there and you're always scared and ready for everything to go wrong and I think that's why I was always a little bit scared of letting go of that comfort blanket that I had of already being at rock bottom that I didn't want to get any higher because I was afraid of falling again so I think that's an important thing to think about the fact that you're using this as a comfort bag a comfort blanket and that you need to do something to kind of let go of it and know that there are other ways of dealing with it. Another really helpful thing for me has been writing out my feelings and keeping a diary. I've kept a diary since I was about 11 and it has been such a lovely way of just kind of first of all recording things that are going on in my life and being able to look back and be like oh that's what I was doing but also there's really negative feelings that you don't always want to let out to people or put on other people sometimes you just want to write them and sometimes it's really good just to write things out because you start to see how ridiculous things sound because a lot of the things that we think are bad are just things that we're imagining like we tend to manifest things in our head and make things worse than they are they actually start to come true because you're being so negative within your head that that actually starts to come out in real life if that makes sense and so sometimes it's a really good thing to write down what you're feeling and why you're feeling it and you'll feel so silly and irrational afterwards sometimes that you know you'll just feel better for having written it out at least that's something that happens for me I have days where I feel really anxious and just a bit stressed with life and I feel like everything is going wrong and one thing that always helps me is that I write out each problem and then I write solutions next to them and then bit by bit I'll go through and try to resolve each issue and I kind of start with the hardest one first that's causing me the most anxiety and then I work my way down from there and it's never as bad as I think it is and this method has been such a great coping mechanism for me because I think a lot of the time I think things are going to be worse than they are and things are worse than they are and I get overwhelmed but then when I just put it all on paper and I'm like this is what's the problem and this is how I'm going to resolve it and then I just go and do that rather than just wallowing and panicking and freaking out by myself I think that really helps as well and I think my last tip is to find the root of why you're binging a lot of the time there are deep-rooted reasons for why you're binging and why you need that emotional support I've spoken a lot about my personal issues I even um, went up on stage and spoke about it at VidCon in Amsterdam last weekend which was very frightening and scary to just kind of lay myself bare like that but I feel like it really helped others um, I don't want to talk about it <laughs> but um, there have been a lot of things in my life that has have caused me to kind of I think one of the best things I ever did for myself was letting myself find the root of all of my issues and learning to deal with that and why it's affected me and how I can rise above that reason and I've certainly done that and it's been such a long road like when I talk about the fact that I've stopped binging for the last two years keep in mind that I was binging for 10 years before that and it only like progressively got less and less it was a very long process and I'm not saying that I'm completely binge free now because when it comes to eating disorders such as this you never know what could trigger it later on right now I have other ways of letting out my emotions such as running and talking to people and writing things down it's it's so great now but I know that at any moment I could be triggered again and I have to always kind of be alert to that and make sure that I'm keeping my eating habits very normal and safe and healthy for me so that I don't fall back into that routine um, but I'm happy to say now that now eating isn't even a struggle for me there's strange little habits that I still have there's certain situations like eating in public that are still like mm, but for the most part my disordered eating has almost completely vanished and I can just go about my day and just eat like a normal person if that makes sense whatever normal is because I don't think it exists anyway but I'm eating in a way that makes me happy and makes me feel comfortable with myself and I feel like is healthy for me personally and so that's the most important thing because I used to eat I used to feel this need to just eat 
and like now I have this thing like if I'm full I am full if I don't want to eat something I won't eat it like I used to just want to eat it like I had real I was gluttonous before and now I'm just not like even now I've just had lunch and in the past I would have been like what else can I eat and I would have gone to get more food or at least been thinking constantly about food but after I ate I stopped thinking about food I was like I fueled myself now I can get on with my day it's all good so that has been a little snippet of my journey I didn't want to make this too long but if you want to hear more about my story I could do a little podcast or something like that and do that for you guys but I just thought I'd give you guys a little snippet of how I've been doing especially when it comes to binge eating because I think it's been ages since I've spoken about binging so I hope this helps some of you guys who are struggling just know that it gets better but know that it's gonna be a long road and that it's not gonna happen overnight and don't beat yourself up if it doesn't happen overnight just know that it's gonna be a process and that you are gonna get there eventually so I hope this was helpful it was so nice to sit down and talk to you guys again because it has been so long so make sure you comment down below and say what's up I just want to have a chat with you guys and I don't know I feel like really disconnected from you guys at the minute so it'd be nice to have a little bit of a chat so even if it's nothing to do with the video let's just have a chat down in the comments below but anyway guys thank you so much for watching stay healthy stay luscious and I'll talk to you guys later bye Thank <laughs> you.